Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a digital photo camera from the last millennium that uses a floppy disk drive to record pictures on and I got four of them. <laughs> but before we take some pictures, let's go back inside and take a close look at every one of them in detail. Oh, the wind is so strong. Today I'm going to show you some very similar cameras. So I have four Sony Mavica digital cameras from the 1990s, early 2000. As you can see, they're very big and boxy and square because they use floppy disk. Remember floppy disk storage unit. They're 1.4 megabytes in size. So that's the sound of taking a picture. And that's the sound of a recording the picture onto a floppy disk. Look. And one more interesting thing about these is you see this video lamp. These are kind of old, but they use the same battery as a new video light. This camera from more than 35 years ago. They still make these batteries today sony npf 550 or 570 you just insert this big battery and any camera it works <laughs> and of course after i take the pictures i have to go to my old computer and uh, copy them in order for me to show you how they look So before I show you this beast over here with the optical zoom, image stabilization and many other interesting things, flip up screen. I will start with the simple. So there are four. This one does not have a big lens as you can see right here. I like how it sounds. So insert the floppy disk. You, you don't hear that in the modern cameras. So this is a Sony Mavica NVC FD51. It has uh, no optical zoom. It's just a fixed lens. Resolution is, I guess, less than one megapixel. They, they don't use megapixels back in the day. Turn it on. <laughs> this error. This floppy disk you used to work on the other cameras. Okay, I'll try another one. I'll show you some quirks and features. See this right here, this is the brightness button. If you press up, the brightness goes up. Yeah, so this one has an error, unfortunately. But let's move on to the next one. So the model on this one is FD85. It's a bigger lens. It says here three times optical zoom. That was an interesting sound. Yeah, clock set. 2000. The year is 2000. <laughs> interesting sound. <laughs> Format error. Weird message. Uh, these are very old. I guess I should have bought a new one. But why? I mean, I have pictures in them. I hear a sound. Uh, yeah, same error. This one is a 1.3 megapixel resolution camera. It's kind of heavy. These are the buttons. It has a dedicated Sony lens cap. It says format error. This one you can see the backlit screen light. Moving on to the next one. It's the third one that I try today. It works. So I just took a picture. This is the picture. <laughs> uh, 
I like the sounds of the mechanical sounds of the, the camera. It has optical zoom of 10 times. It's the FD71, Mavica MVC FD71 digital camera from Sony. That's how it looks. These are all the buttons. There are many buttons. And I cannot wait to show you the pictures. Does it have one megapixel? There's so many buttons. And another battery over here. It doesn't have it. For keeping the date and time in the camera. Flash, lens, is very silent. It's not like the other digicams that are noisy and loud when they zoom in and out. Sony made a lot of video cameras on tape before these models they gave it a try let's use floppy disks to take pictures because back then in the 90s every computer had a floppy disk drive i have an old computer that still works and has the floppy disk drive so i showed you these but let's take a closer look at the big one it's kind of similar to the other ones but it has a lot of uh, interesting functions why do i have a nikon cap it's a 52 millimeter diameter size cap it just fits here now this is a FD91 model. Also it says here MVC FD91 from Sony Mavica. It's made in 1999, so before 2000, 14 times optical zoom. So let's turn the camera on. Yeah, it works. Now look closely to the lens. When I zoom in, it goes back and forward. Back also here, I can see it, it's a really big optical zoom and also it can go very slow. Now I'm pushing in really slow and it zooms in on my face, see? And if I push fast, it zooms out. They have a lot of experience with the tape cameras. They uh, implemented this technology onto these uh, digital cameras. They were the, the first digital cameras. 1024 by 768 pixels. That's, I guess it's less than one megapixel. This is the shutter button. Half press to focus and fully press to shoot, to take the picture. Also, there's a mic, microphone. If you hear this, it's just a plastic body. It's a plastic camera. It has a lot of stickers around here. They mention the battery life and other stuff. Type of floppy disk. On this side it has just the floppy disk mechanism. It's mechanical. You don't have to power the camera on. It's just a mechanical eject button. Let's see this side, which is the most interesting one in my opinion. This button opens the flash manually. Look. And now here you have some buttons, physical buttons for the white balance. When I press this, it changes the color, you know, the white balance inside the camera towards yellow, blue and, you know, red. And also a programmable button here, this AE program. It appears some numbers on the display, I guess the aperture and the exposure time hold this and press plus and minus it changes the value then this is steady shot off and on so it has optical stabilization inside the lens and this is for the manual and autofocus when you click the manual you can use the focus ring around here to focus manually i leave it on auto because it just works on the bottom it's just a battery and the tripod mount right here in the center of the lens let's get to the back of the camera the, the big LCD screen right here. It's pixelated, but it flips. You can take pictures like this or like this. It fully flips like the modern, you know, vlogging cameras. I don't know if you can take a vlog, make a vlog with this one because the video file is only five seconds long. No more. Five seconds and it, it stops. I select movie. It shows 160. That's 160 pixels in resolution. When it's on photo, it shows 1024 up there on the screen. About one megapixel, maybe less. This is a viewfinder. It's a digital viewfinder. It's a switchable button. Oh, also the screen has some buttons on the side for brightness and volume. See right there? I can change the screen brightness live when I look at the screen. Now it's dark and now it's uh, it has more light so you can see 
better in the dark or in the sunlight. Of course, you cannot compare this with the modern LED screens, but wow, back in the day, 35 years ago, <laughs> this was revolutionary. Speaker right here. This is a speaker, there's a microphone for the camera, and this is a joystick up and down, left and right. And if you click in the center, it goes into whatever you selected. This is all the menu you need <laughs> for this camera. Those are all the functions in the menu. Click on image size. Okay, this main switch over here is the, uh, they say movie, movie, now it, then back to picture and review. The pictures on this floppy disk. Listen to this closely. <laughs> That's how it sounds when it accesses the memory. Oh, look, there's some firefighter images. I don't know where I got this camera from, but it seems to have been at a firefighter station maybe i did not delete these pictures i find them very interesting this is the power off that's simple as that power on access the floppy disk and a few other display functions and flash you know if you open the flash you can access the flash functions from this bright button right here let's power the flash take a picture of that camera with a flash it focuses and now the picture is recorded play the picture there it is <laughs> this is viewfinder it's a lot smaller and lower quality but i guess it uses less battery why am i blue i'm blue because of the white balance Anyway, the bottom of the viewfinder, there's the control for manually adjusting clarity for your eyes. If you wear glasses, you can adjust the viewfinder if you don't see very well on the screen. Also, I have here 63 minutes of battery. That's how they showed you back in the day. As I said, the battery is not charged. I used the battery in the in this uh, lamp over here. I also got the charger, the original Sony charger with a camera, I guess with this one. The round battery for keeping the date and time. This is it. So it's separate from the big one. Let's see what pictures can we take with these, let's say these two uh, working digital cameras from the 90s now in 2025 i guess they're digicams this is a bridge and a stone and now zoom in on the top of the rock and that's a cross this is optical zoom. It has stabilization. At the end of the bridge. Yeah. Maybe less. Just like that. Let's see the landscape. A little zoom. And a selfie. Oh, it's freezing. Oh my god, I gotta take my hand gloves. Okay. Oof. So cold, I cannot feel my fingers.
just a landscape picture with that lake, it's low light. And, and that's how it looks. That's the lake over there, we're in uh, Romanian Carpathians. Okay, all that being said, thank you for watching and also thank you for the 1000 subscriber count <laughs> on my channel. That's amazing, I'll try to keep uh, making more content and now I'll place here some a few more pictures taken with these uh, digicams with a floppy disk. Have a nice day, see you around, bye. Ha <laughs> ha.